Hi, welcome to Donna Spot with me, Donna. Today I will be doing a review of a wig that I received from Kaylisa. Kaylis. 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 I'm hoping I'm not messing up this name. It looks like Kaylis. 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 Anyhow, I have my tools that I'll be working with. I have a mirror here. I have a bucket with a little bit of water, cold water in it. I have a small can and a big can of this Oars Olive Oil Oil Sheen. And I have my brush that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Now, when I'm doing wigs, whether human hair or synthetic, I use cold water and oil sheen. And if I want the curl pattern to be right, I use rollers. I'm a middle-aged woman. I don't feel like doing my own hair with flat irons and curling irons. So I know I don't want to be bothered with doing a wig's hair. But anyhow, let's get into it. First of all, this is what the packaging looks like. It's nice. Ooh, it's nice and simple, and I like that. On the back of it, it has a small window. And this is, I would assume, how it could hang in a store. Or you can hang it on a doorknob. I wouldn't, but that's what you could do. So, in opening it up, We have a beige wig cap. Thank you for the wig cap. I don't use beige, but I might in a pinch, but regularly, I don't. Now, again, I was able to pick the wig that I wanted to review. I'm trying to find the top of it, y'all. The top. So, this is what the wig looks like. It's nice and wavy. It's very soft. Of course, the net is still on it. So, that's really, really pretty. It's got that swing. Um, from what I can see... It looks like a center part. I'm not for sure. It has like a a meshing that goes from here to here. I like long parts. Um, it has two combs in the front. Oh, I don't know. That might be the side, baby. I think that's the side. Because I could tell. Here's the back. I got a comb in the back. And I got these clipper things. Now, me personally, I do not mess with these combs. I don't like them. Because to me, you know, sticking it up under here or on the sides or in the back, they, um, that could be a wear and tear on your sides and your edges. And I don't believe in that. So we're going to try it on. It's got a lot of stretch in it. Which I'm feeling. It fits my head. Without having to use the combs. I'm liking that. I'm pulling the the drop down sort of like ear tabs to even it out. Mm. 
It comes with baby hairs, but I'm a middle aged woman with gray hairs. I don't need no baby hairs. I mean, some people think it's cute on any woman. I don't think it's cute on me. I can't say what you feel, but for me, it ain't cute. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Knowing me, I will just take some water with this brush and brush it in to the curl pattern and the wave pattern of this wig. Or I'll tuck it in because I could not see me having no baby hairs and I got gray hairs. That, that don't make no sense to me. So, as you see, I am just brushing it into the wave. It could stay up under the hair, as far as I'm concerned. And this piece up at the top, I'm going to tuck it up under the wig. Because it's about me styling it the way I would style it. Not necessarily the way it looks on the advertiser. Now I can see, as you see, this little hurt indentation with the black and the gray. So I know I don't want that sticking out. I like how it's looking. I like the wavy and the curly pattern. I usually don't even get black, but I can work with the black, baby. I can work with the black. It's, a, it's black like my hair. My hair is just black. Besides the gray. It's synthetic hair. It's soft and touching my face. I don't feel no immediate breakouts or anything. So that's great because I do have eczema, which is a form of sensitive skin. Not saying it's sensitive skin, but it makes my skin sensitive. So I am very particular about what... I allow to touch both my face and body. I would use this wig when I'm going out somewhere, like if I'm going out to dinner or to the movies or to a concert or something. I would like to wear this wig. Now, I'm five, five and a half. And this goes down past my breast, down my stomach. It goes to the top of my waist. I'm going to stand up in a minute for you. Now, what I like to do when I get a new wig, I like to spray it with my oil sheen. Why? Because I'm trying... To make it softer than what it is. It doesn't have that wiggy shine. But I want it to look like. Boom. I just went and got my hair done. And. When I store my wigs. I put them back in the. The pouch, the bag, whatever you want to call it. And by spraying it down with the oil sheen, it's like, I guess like a sauna. Because 
when I spray the hair really, really good, I just sprayed it. I didn't spray it like I'm going to spray it to go into this bag. But I like to spray it really, really good and then put it back in my bag. My bag is like a sauna because I'll seal it back up and then the heat from the plastic will melt the oil sheen into the wig. So the next time I'm ready to wear it, all I got to do is throw it on and keep it pushing. Um, it's not tangling, but I'm going to have to work with it. It's like little stray hairs that's longer than the other stray hairs, and you're going to have to yank it out and pull it out. Um... Let's see what it looks like with my glasses on. That's cute. I'm sweating like hell, so I don't want to nap it up. It's sold on both their site, Khalees, and Amazon. This is a 28-inch black wig, black curly, wavy, synthetic. It said lace. I don't have any lace. The only lace I see is in the party. And that's good for me because I don't believe in taking that lace and gluing it to the sides of my head. I wasn't born like that with something glued to the side of my head. And I do not want no lace in any type of way glued to the side of my head. Because like I told you, I don't wear baby hair. So I don't need all that extra lace. If it had lace... I would have cut it off. I'm going to be honest with you. I would have cut it off. Because wigs are pretty and fun to wear, especially different colors. But I don't want nothing that I might forget because I'm older and I'd be sleepy. Well, not just because I'd be sleepy, but I'd be forgetful because I'm older. And go to lay down and be like, ooh. The wig is on and just go to snatch it off and here go my face off. I don't believe in that. So, I don't put myself in those positions. Would I wear my, my own natural hair as a baby hair? No, I would not. So, I'm going to fall back some and let's see what it do for me. So excuse me. So as like I said, it comes down past my past my breast. It's not at my waist like it was when I was sitting down. So that's cool. It's long in the back. I mean, it's really long. I'm not really used to wearing. A wig this long. I mean, I've had long wigs. But not this long, baby. So I don't know. Is it shaking the way y'all like it to shake? I don't know. I won't know until I watch the video. But I like how it how it rests on my shoulder. I like how it rests on my shoulder and can have some hair in the back. Um, well, I can have a lot on the shoulders and a lot in the back. Now, this feels really quite strange because it is so long. I'm loving this part, though. This type of part I be trying to get with my own naps and I do have hair and it, it does revert back to nappy so what do you think this company Khalees is um the sister company for official Benba I had just did a wig for them a month ago and um, 
I like it. I really do like it. Because it's black, just like my hair. I didn't get away with wearing colors so much. It feels kind of different wearing black. What would I do with it? Mm. Knowing me, being that I'm not used to having all this, I would pull it back and put it back in the ponytail and get me a clip and clip it up there. That's what I would do. I don't have any clips on me right now, so I can't show you that. But that's what I would do. I would. Or even just pull it back and put it in a ponytail. You know, for the wintertime, that hair all over the place, it would be great. But for the summertime, honey, but I think it's cute. What do you think? Is this something you could work with? Is there a style that you would do with this hair? I like this messiness. I mean, it's curly. It's wavy. It's messy. And I like it. You know, this is something like going out. Like I said, to the movies. To the show, what well, that's the movies. To a concert, um, on a date. On a date, um, I don't know if I'd wear something like this to church or something. I ain't been to church in a while, but I need to go back. But, um, I don't know. Going to the park, hanging out, hanging out over a friend's house. Mm, I don't know, boo. But I would find to make it work. I like how the little short piece of hair that was supposed to be like a baby hair, by me brushing it out, it... It curled up under the wave. I like that. So it could still be sticking out. But not sticking out as a baby hair. Because I'm not gluing none to my head. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't do that. Mm -mm. I love me too much. I don't do that. But I think it's really, really cute. I could probably, well, no. I was going to say I probably could braid it down the side when I wanted the waviness to come back in. But I would have to do that when it's not on my head, boo. Because if I do that on my head, I see all my naps showing. So that I don't want you to see. You know, here's that tab. I don't want you to see it. I don't want you to see it. But yeah, this is cute. It's cute. What do you think? You think it's cute? What do you think? Do you think it looks silky? Does it look like something you'd want to wear? I'd probably put on my Big gold earrings. Well, they not that big. They, they some heart earrings. They're gold. They're straight up gold. I can't wear that costume, Jerry. I'm sorry. I'd be broke out in green everywhere. But I would wear my heart earrings with this. Or maybe go out and buy me another pair of gold earrings to go along with this hair. Maybe something. A little bit bigger, you know, bigger than the hearts. Let it be like a little bigger with the hair. But I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. I like that I don't have to 
come out the package and be working with it real a lot. I like that it's soft. I like that it has its own wavy curly. It's not too curly. It's not too wavy. Pattern. Um, I like that I can run my fingers through it. I'm going to get a little tangled. Just pull it a little bit. It comes right out. I like that it's shorter when I stands up. I like that it fits my head without using the combs. Um... Like I say, I love this part. It's nice, long, curvy part. Um, I can work with this. Yes, I can work with this. I love that it's not breaking me out or bothering my face any. So this... Is a nice quality wig. I know I keep missing with this front piece. That front piece bothering me. I guess because it's meant to be out and I don't want to wear it out. But it's, it's bothering me. Cause I can see my gray. It's bothering me. You know what? I might have to go back in and clip that. Now to solve that. But what do you think about this wig? Is it something you'd want? Remember you can get it on their site. Khalees. Or Amazon. I didn't really see it. I didn't see it on Amazon. With any other color but black. I'm assuming they have other colors. Um... Who wouldn't want some wavy hair? So, um, I think this would be pretty. Especially when I'm in one of my moods. I want to do makeup. And I do my makeup with it. But today isn't that day. Today is showcasing this wig. Would you cut it? Would you cut it and make it shorter? Or would you look, leave it longer? Or would you cut it down here? You know, do you? These little string, strings, you know what I mean? All wigs have shedding. I'm not used to any shedding, but from what I hear, all wigs have shedding, so... Is this something that you can see for yourself? You know what I want you to do? I want you to comment on this wig. I want y'all to talk to me. I want you to tell me if you are feeling her and if you're not. And what you would do with her if you're not. And what you would do with her if you are. I really, really like this. You don't have to worry about really tight rolling it. You know, when I get to a point that I want to add that bounce back in it, I would just part it, brush it with my faithful brush. I would get some mousse because that's what I like to use. I like to use mousse and oil sheen. And water, and I would roll it, but I wouldn't roll it all the way to the scalp. I would roll it maybe, maybe up to here in big rollers, you know, big sections, rollers, and put it back, spray it down, put it back in my bag, and let the plastic do whatever it does. Like I said, it's like a salon on. And then take it out the next day and untwist the rollers and spray it down again. And hey, 
I'm good to go. I'm good to go. So please, 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 please let me know what you think about the synthetic hair. Is it a keeper or no, no? Hit that link down below and tell me. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate you all. I love you all. I hope you all have joined my channel, Dinah Spot, in all capital letters. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button and why. And um, I'll catch you later. And please remember, always check on the Khalees site and check on the Amazon site. And whichever site you feel is best for your needs, that's the site I want you to go and buy this wig or any other wig. And um, I'm going to see you later. I love you guys. There's that pageant wave. See you later. Bye-bye.